Software are dropping something quite exciting. It's called databases and allow you to build full stack apps whilst using software in one location. So today's video is part of our vendor news series. This is sponsored by Softer. You can explore those guys below to get an outline, but today we're just gonna dive into the news of what this release includes. So what is Softer and why does it matter? Well, Softer is a platform that allows you to build no code apps or tools. This is great for shipping something like a client portal or bringing to life a website that you've created and you can use and connect with third party services. Well, today that changes because software is introducing databases allowing you to grow your own database from scratch or using AI and connect it to your front end which is software so let's go through all of the what's new lists and with everything that you need to know about what is new in this release so the first of those is it's got a built-in relational database so you can link records like you would in apps like Airtable all from the likes of software it allows you to be faster and more scalable, and it is very attractive in terms of its look and feel. So there are no API limits. So if you're worried about how much data is working in the system, you won't hit any syncing caps or anything like that because there's no limits to the API, which is incredibly helpful when growing a vast database that needs to be loaded at a vast amount of time. So you can still connect with other services if you're looking to, like Airtable, Notion, Google Sheets, HubSpot and more. And you can even migrate from those platforms as well if you want to. There are no extra seat charges for team collaboration. So if you invite those into databases to modify it together, you won't get extra seat charges, which does bring down the costs and helps you collaborate effectively. And finally, there's still filtering, sorting, and a bunch of templates to help get you started. And it'll still feel and act like a database that you've used before, and you can grow it out and expand it to what you like. And then even more AI features coming soon. So there are apparently plans on the horizon to create a public API connecting apps like Zapier, which would allow you to expand your automations and workflows while still using Softer. So who is this update really for? Well, if you're thinking about makers who are building internal tools, founders who are developing client portals, and even folks like me. For example, when we first created toolfinder.co, we actually built it using these no-code platform-like tools, and it was incredibly easy to do, but they've gotten a lot better in the last two years. We actually used, I think, four or five different services to actually build the first version of Toolfinder. But at the same time now, you can practically build this with one app, which actually does help you and save you a lot of time. So whether you're doing internal or external releases, this could be a great way to remove the need to use an external developer and to bring something to life in a bit more ways. So a big thanks to Softless for sponsoring today's video. And if you're into the no-code space and looking to build a full stack app that allows you to expand into the future, then this is a good option for you. So do check it out below if you're interested. And thanks for stopping by for the news. I'll see you very soon. Do subscribe if you're interested.